Mayung adlo mga amigo. My name is Moon. If you're new to my channel, and as you can see from the title of the video, this is my Meteor Book Freak Out Tag 2021. Well, let me preface this video by saying that I have only read 13 books this month, so I actually feel wholly undeserving to do this tag. However, I have been meaning to do this tag last 2020 and I was not able to do so, so I decided to do this now. I just really hope that I will do this tag justice. So the very first prompt for this tag is the best book that I have read this year. So I'm going to be pretty biased about this one because I have read this book last year and it is also one of my favorites. And it is actually The Time Capsule by J.D. Ruiz. So The Time Capsule by J.D. Ruiz is about a girl named Stephanie C. who went back to her hometown, which is Bacolod, to attend the funeral of her estranged grandma. And there she met a guy named Eric and a some sort of of not some sort but a romance actually bloom between them to be honest although i really like the romance of this book i think the thing that really carried the book for me is actually the character development of stephanie c her character development is just really really flawless in my opinion and honestly i would highly recommend this book to everyone most especially to the readers out there who actually loves contemporary romance so the second prompt for this tag is the best sequel so this is somewhat cheating because i have read like the first two books of this series back in december of 2020 and i have read like the third book of the series in january of 2021 but the book which i'm going to choose is third book of our asymptotic love story by bini bini mia personally i just love the sequel so much because it wraps up the first two books quite wonderfully and the ending is very very bittersweet just a note however that this book is written in tagalog so if you're an international reader and you cannot understand tagalog this book is not for you so the third prompt for this tag is new release so basically i think um the best book that you have read this year which is a new release so i should say that i don't really follow new releases because most of the time new releases are just really really expensive and i honestly prefer to read books that were published years before so i don't have an answer to this prompt so the fourth prompt is my anticipated release for like i assume it is like within this year. So just like the previous prompt, um, I should mention that I don't really follow new releases. Oftentimes, I see new releases are only in book Twitter where people talk about it. But yeah, since I don't really follow new releases and I don't really read new releases, I don't have an answer to this prompt. So the fifth prompt is biggest disappointment. Now for this prompt, I should say that I am not all disappointed with this book to the point that i loathe it so much i just really have high expectations for it because people love this series so much or rather this first book so much also i need to say this because i think this disappointment stems up from the fact that i have read this book as an adult because i do know that if i have read this when i was like in my middle grade um middle grade years or like my preteen years i would have loved it and this book is actually percy jackson and the lighting thief which is the first book of the percy jackson series by rick Riordan. so the next prompt is the biggest surprise this has come to a shock for me because even though i like to promote wattpad books in my channel that much i am aware that some books that came from that website are both questionable in content and in writing so when i read the i love you since 1892 series by bini bini mia i was honestly surprised as to how much i love them although the writing needs a little more development in my opinion i really really enjoy the story it's very refreshing to see it from a wattpad book the plot is quite complex in my opinion and there are a lot of things happening and i really really enjoyed it so that series that book has came as a surprise for me so the next Trump is a fave new author, so quite sadly, I was not able to gain a new favorite author this year. But I think it's because of the fact that I have read considerably less this year compared to the books I have read last year. The next prompt is new fictional crush. Oh, this is easy because during my I Love You Since 89 series live show, I often talk about him a lot. And of course, it is Juanito from the I Love You Since 89 series by Bini Bini Mia. And I just really love his character so much. I just love a kind, good-hearted male lead and Monito actually fits that description very, very well. He's just 
kind and sweet and he's also very very smart and he also has this amazing hobby such as painting and i think it was mentioned that he also likes sculpting because he has made a wooden necklace for Carmela. Also, he's also my type physically. I mean, Morenos, that's my type. The next prompt is my new fave character in this year, and it is actually Annabeth from the Percy Jackson series. I just love how she was crafted as a character. Also, I'm pretty biased because most of the time, my favorite characters are those smart characters or characters with like really, really good character development. So Annabeth really fits that. Also, I need to say that she's not only bookish smart, but also she's street smart. And that in itself, I really, really love her character. The next prompt is the book that made you cry. So the book that made me cry the most this year is the R asymptotic love story by Binibining Mia. The ending is actually very heart-wrenching and painful because although the main character has able to live her life beautifully and filled with love, just the fact that she was not able to be with the man that she loves for like centuries is just heartbreaking <laughs> and that in itself is also very very painful in my opinion however i should say that my tears for this book is not that much compared to the other books i have read in the previous years in which i have cried rivers and seas for so the next prompt is book that made you happy and i think the book that made me happy in a very strange way this year is the aramatha parker's do list by ruby granger so i should say that this book made me happy because of the fact that I have been wanting to read this book for a very long time and I have managed to read this year. However, the contents of the book is not that happy at all. And I would not recommend this book to people who had bad experiences with bullying because this book tackles that and the contents here are very triggering. The next prompt is the most beautiful book that I have read this year, so I would assume that this is all about the cover of the book, so the book which I'm going to choose is The Furies by Katie Lau. And the cover of the book is not that amazing to say the least, but compared to the other books I've read this year, I think the cover of this book is the most beautiful one. And the last prompt is what you need to read before the end of the year. And the book which I want to read before the end of the year is The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeko because I have been wanting to read this for a very long time. And a copy was given to me by my good friend Trish from Shoe Paper. And I'm really, really excited to read this. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have opinions, please comment it down below and let's discuss. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Hakt den alla av Fest, 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 helt av